Ooh. I was asleep at the wheel. Dang it. How do they always know? There we go. Pickerel. And he off he comes. Perfect. The less I have to handle those things, the better. They can get a little bit tricky when they're in the bottom of the boat flopping around. There we go. I think that's a pickerel. I'm just going to ski him in here. Yep, pickerel. You want to come off or? Nope, nope, he's stuck fast. All right. Tip wrap. Okay, there we go. Just get this guy unhooked here. Easy. Ah. Come on, buddy. Ah, wow. There we go. Got him. There we go. That was kind of a light hit for a pickerel. Yeah, and there he goes. Another good release. I don't like it when bass get off boat side, but pickerel? Yeah, that works for me. Unless it's a really, really big pickerel. Then that thing's going in the net. There we go. I don't know if this is a pickerel or not. It's got me way down in those weeds. What is this? Bass. Not a bad largey. Maybe a pound and a half. Oh, that hook fell right out, too. If I had taken pressure off of him for a second, he'd have been gone. Boy, between all the power boats and all the barking dogs, this is far from a relaxing evening of fishing, but I'm willing to tolerate it as long as I'm getting bit. And so far, I am getting bit. Not every fishing trip is gonna be being one with the wilderness. There we go. Saw him come up behind it. I think it's another pickerel. Yep, another little pickerel. I think the pickerel are getting smaller. Oh my goodness. Boy, when these pickerel get it stuck tonight, they get it stuck. There we go. He's free.
Fish on. What do we got? Hey, hey! Oh, that was a small mouth. And I was saying before, I don't like when bass get off at the side of the boat. But at least that one wasn't too big. Well, I had a stretch of about half an hour where I was getting a ton of bites. And now the bite has slowed way down. That smallmouth is the only fish I've had on in the past hour. So maybe there was a bite window or something. I don't know. But just going to keep plugging away. Maybe another bite window will open. There we go. Holy crap. That was a hit. That was fun to see. Oh. There we go. That was worth the price of admission. Oh my gosh, he hit that right at the boat, and there he goes. Wow, I guess uh, the bite window is open again, maybe? There we go. Another pickerel. Oh, and off he comes. Wow. That's like three pickerel in five minutes. Fast action all of a sudden. After about an hour of nothing. Oh my goodness. I was sleeping and another pickerel right at the boat. Wow, the pickerel are definitely hungry tonight. Oh wow, he hit that as soon as it hit the water. Oh, he's got me wrapped up. I don't know what it is. He's staying down like a bass. It's a pickerel. Get the motor out of these weeds here. There he goes. Perfect. That was one of the bigger pickerel of the evening. And this buzzbait is torn up. It's bent. And the skirt's getting all shredded. This thing was brand new when I started. Get a few more fish like that, I might have to retire it. There we go. That was a delicate take for a pickerel. You want to thrash off or am I going to have to get the hardware for you? Yeah, we'll have to get the pliers. Oops, or not. Don't bite my ankle. There we go. Look at this thing gets all bent up 
every time I get one of those pickerel. Oh wow, fish on. What do we got? Oh wow, that is, that is a tiny, tiny smallmouth. Lunker alert, jeez. Surprised he was able to get that hook in his mouth. Fish on. That's not a dink. That is a proper small mouth. <laughs> Look at this dude. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Wow, he's pulling. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Yes. Whew. That's a nice one. That is a super nice one. Ah, jeez. Okay, there we go. Uh, look at that, that's a long fish. You know what, let me get a quick measurement. That fish is, he is just touching 17. And he is full of energy. That's just a long, lean, strong fish. Let's get her back. All right. Well, I think that is a very nice note on which to end the evening. Turned out to be a pretty decent day of fishing, despite the fact that I was fighting boat traffic for most of it. But it is Labor Day weekend, so speed boats, screaming kids, barking dogs, it's all part of the deal. Um, but the fish certainly didn't seem to mind, and it was very appropriate that I did most of my damage with a buzz bait, which I would say is the fishing lure equivalent of a speed boat. But Labor Day weekend is going to end tomorrow, but I will still be up here on vacation, so I might wind up having this lake mostly to myself in a couple of days. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.